Construct Array creates multiple copies of a single element or groups of elements and places them in a rectangular or polar patterns or along path at regularly spaced intervals. In this section, you will utilize the array tool to create copies of furniture along a selected element. In this case, the chair selected will follow the curvature of an arc element. And with each copy created, the chair will rotate and maintain the same alignment and offset relative to the path. So let's jump back into MicroStation where we are going to array elements. Continuing in the proposed restaurant DGN file, we are now going to zoom where we constructed the countertop at the sushi bar. This will be near columns B5 and B6. Here, you will find a single chair that was placed aligned with the arc of the countertop. You will now utilize the array tool to make copies at a certain distance and maintain the same offset from the path element. In this case, the path element is the countertop. So from the Home tab in the Manipulate Ribbon group, we are going to select the Construct Array tool. The Construct Array tool makes multiple copies of a selected element in a rectangular, polar, or along path method. In the tool settings window, let's set the following options. For the method, along path. For the mode, both. We'll set copies to nine. We'll set the distance to 762. And we'll make sure that rotate items is enabled. So our first task here with the construct array tool is to construct an array of chairs at the sushi bar. We'll begin by issuing a data point thereby identifying the chair. The location on the chair is not critical. Next, we'll issue a data point on the arc directly in front of the chair to identify this as the start point on the path element. Then, we'll move the cursor to the right to give direction. Since the mode is dictating the path element, we'll simply issue a data point to place the array. Take note how with each copy of the chair that was placed, it rotated to maintain the same orientation relative to the arc element that was chosen as the path. Furthermore, each copy maintained the same offset distance relative to the arc element. We will now repeat this procedure in the lounge area. So we'll navigate the view to the countertop in the lounge area. We'll ensure that the array tool is still active. In the tool settings window, we'll set the copies to two. Just like before, we'll issue a data point on the chair. Next, we'll issue a data point on the arc directly in front of the chair as the path element. We'll then move the cursor in an upward direction and issue a data point to place the two chairs. Next, we'll select the first chair or the original chair and move the cursor in a downward direction. We'll issue a data point to place the arrayed copies yet again. And this will finish constructing array of the chairs in both the lounge area and at the sushi bar. During this lesson, you learned how to array elements. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.